so welcome back to half man half tech in today's video we have a new update that i want to talk about so if you go into the settings of my device here and then go to general and go to software update you see that my device is checking for software update and as you can see we have ios 13.7 this is not a beta but this is the official release version now on my device if i was to go back and go to where it says profiles you can see that i actually have ios 13 and ipad os 13 beta profile this is the developer profile so if you have the developer beta profile of ios 13 or ipad os 13 then don't worry you should be able to see this update irregardless of you having the public beta or developer beta profile so for me on my iphone x that i have here as you can see this update of ios 13.7 comes in as a big size it's around 3.38 gig now the reason for this is because currently i'm actually on beta 1 now if i go back to the about section of my device and see the software version that i have here you can see the build number that i have on 13.7 beta 1 s 17 h 33 we actually thought that this was the gm version but the version that we have here has a different software version so since we know now that this is now available to the public and this could actually possibly be the last update of ios 13 we see before everything is moved over to ios 14 so let me quickly update and see what are some of the changes and features that came with this ios 13.7 okay so our device has now been updated to ios 13.7 and let me just close the screen so that i show you something i just saw maybe this is something that has always been there but if the screen is locked and then you tap it you can see that this swipe to unlock uh that shows up here sort of bounces on the bar so it comes and then the bar sort of pushes it up so i just noticed that but i think that's something that has always been there but anyways let's quickly unlock our device and see what are some of the changes that came with this update so first things first let's go into the build number to see what has changed if you go into settings and then go to general and then go to about you can see the new software version that we have as 17 h35 before we had 17 h33 so it's a small upgrade and then if we see the modem firmware that we have here you can see that we have 3.05.00 so nothing really changed here and then if you go to see how much the system is taken up in the storage section here so system is taking 6.81 gigs now this is slightly larger than what i had on ios 13.7 beta 1 it was taking 6.66 gigs so slightly an increase and let's now see what are the new features and changes that came with this update the reason why this update was actually released has to do with this so if you go into your setting and then you go to basically the second or third uh, subsection here you can see that we have a new menu which is exposure notification so this is the major reason why this update came out considering the times that we're in and if you click there you are now able to turn on exposure notification if your region is supported so i'm in canada let's quickly see if i'll be able to turn this on so if you click the way it says turn it on and then you basically come up to this screen and then if you want to know how this works just click there and it will give you like a three-step uh you know notice on how this works and then just click done and then come back here and click continue and then select your country origin so let me select where i am and then you see that it says your region has an exposure notification app so it's directing me to the app store and if i click here it should take me directly to the app so swipe down a little bit and you can see the app that is available for my region for your region it's going to be slightly different of course depending on which country you're in so as you can see i already have the app downloaded all i have to do is click open and that is the name of the app it's called covid alert and to turn it on i would just basically have to click here where it says enable covid alert and if i click that you notice that you know it's bringing me here instead of turning on the exposure notification i guess i have to allow covid alert to access some of these things so as you can see most of these things are actually turned on and that's the series section notification is also turned on and everything is turned on here and background app 
app refresh is turned on so uh, data is turned on and in this section here where it says exposure notification you can see that this section here for me comes blank now this is an issue that i was also having on ios 13.7 beta 1 so i don't know if it's something that is perhaps pertains to my region that it hasn't fully implemented all the features in this covid alert app this is the app that we have for covid logging or covid notification so i think it has to do with my region or perhaps it could be a bug that is affecting ios 13.7 users on iphone x let me know if you are in canada and you are in vancouver and able to turn this feature on in bc so i think this is as something that needs to be fixed and as you can see i'm unable to turn it on and when i come back it's basically restarting the whole process so that's basically the main and major feature that came with this update now in terms of battery performance this device actually has been performing quite okay for me now i did run geekbench scores on this ios 13.7 and since i did run geekbench also on ios 13.7 beta 1 uh, my scores were more or less the same right so when it comes to performance applications are opening as they're supposed to and also battery performance is normal it's not better than what i had on beta one but it's more or less the same and i'm quite happy with the battery performance that i'm getting and i think ios 13.6.2 had good battery performance so if you're coming from there and going to ios 13.7 then there isn't much that is going to change so basically that's about it that's the main and major change that came with this update when it comes to ios 13.7 and if you like this video please leave a like and hit subscribe and thank you very much for watching stay safe and i will definitely see you in the next video very soon